Everything I know about resilience, I learned from a dead kid. It's my first year out of rabbinical school in 1981. I'm in Miami, Florida, and I'm contacted by a social worker who wants me to work with an Orthodox Jewish family whose 16-year-old son is dying. And the boy got interested in meditation as a way of coping with his dying. The family was very nervous, and they brought me in to make meditation kosher. <laughs> so I explained to the family that meditation is part of all traditions, and the goal of meditation is to wake to reality with a capital R. You can call it God, you can call it nature, you can call it Brahman, you can call it mother, whatever the word is. That's what meditation is about. And to help them understand it, I taught them a chant from the Chernobyl Rebbe in the 1800s, 1700s, 18th century, that was translated into English from Hebrew by a friend of mine named Rabbi David Zeller. So I taught this, and I'm going to teach it to you, I taught this to the boy as part of his meditation and to the parents so they could see, oh, it has a sound, it must be kosher. <laughs> So the only sound you need to know is the word chiyut. It's not part of the song, but chiyut. It's English, it's aliveness. So this is how the song goes. I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. Alive, I'm alive. Try that with me. Yeah, I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. Yeah, I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. Yeah, I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. I'm alive. Let's do it one more time as if you believed it. <laughs> Because there's a few live people here, but back there, I, I'm not so sure. <laughs> so it might help if you clap. It might even help if you stand up. So if you feel like standing up, you could do that. Yeah, I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. Yeah, I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. Yeah, I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. I'm alive, and who is this aliveness I am? And who is this aliveness I am? And who is this aliveness I am? If not the Holy Blessed One, if not the Holy Blessed One, See you, as we say in the rabbinic business, you may be seated. <laughs> so this is the entirety of my worldview. It starts out with this affirmation that you're alive. You are a unique, never before birthed expression of this singular reality called chiyut in Hebrew or aliveness in Hebrew. Rabbi Zeller's English. There's just this one phenomenon, this one happening, this one process called aliveness, and it manifests in all the forms of creation. You and the people around you and the chairs you're sitting in, everything is a manifesting of this aliveness. When we live just from the I am alive, the egoic part of ourselves, we don't live fully and we don't have a sense of resilience because we're so easily knocked off balance by the everyday traumas of life, what the Taoists call the 10,000 joys and the 10,000 sorrows of everyday life. But when you know you're also the aliveness, you have this rootedness. You can be knocked around, but you're going to come back to center. And that's what I call the way of the weeble. I brought one with me, <laughs> and they just wobble around, but they don't fall down. 
That's how I want to live my life. I don't want to resist the 10,000 joys and the 10,000 sorrows. I want to wobble. I spent 10 years in a Zen setting, and we were always taught, when hungry, eat, when tired, sleep, but above all, don't wobble. I'm Jewish. We wobble when we pray. We wobble. <laughs> we wobble. I want to be knocked around by life. I want to wobble. I want to be moved by things that are positive, and I want to be moved by things that are negative. I want to be moved by the awesome and the awful, but I always want to come back to center. And coming back to center, remembering you're not just you, but also this aliveness that everyone is, remembering that is the way you come back to center. And I'm calling that the way of the weeble. To get that in our bodies, we have to do something. We have to do some movement. So I'm going to share with you something that comes from the Sufi tradition. This is a practice of, it's called, part of a practice called zikr, which means to remember. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the first half of the shahada, which is the, the Muslim affirmation of prayer, la ilaha illallah, there is no God but God. When the Sufis say it, the understanding is there is no God other than reality itself. There's nothing other than God. You're God, the person next to you is God, everything is God. Now, you may be very comfortable with the first part, I'm God, <laughs> but not so much with the other part. So the key is to realize it's everything. Right? So we're going to practice the way of the weeble using this zikr practice. And this is how it's, in a moment, I'll ask you to do this, but, but you can stand, you can do it in your seat. But if you can stand, I invite you to stand, and you'll have your feet about shoulder width apart. And you just put your hands on your chest so that they're out of the way and not flapping around and smacking people. And then we're just gonna, we're gonna wobble forward and back, and then to the right and back, and forward and back, and to the left and back. And we're gonna be doing that together so that if you crack heads with someone, <laughs> one of you doesn't know right from left. <laughs> You might want to have that checked out. <laughs> and there's a cadence to it. There's a rhythm to it. So this is what it looks like, and then we're going to do it. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. So we're going to do that for a little bit. And then at the very end, you'll know it's coming to the end, because we're just going to go forward and back, and it's just... Il Allah, Il Allah, Il Allah. And the last time, and you'll just have to guess when it is, is <laughs> Il Allah. And you're back to center. All right, so if you feel like standing, stand. You might want to check with your neighbor to make sure you know right from left. And then you're going to bring your hands in so you don't do any damage, and we'll start slow and then we'll pick it up a little bit. La ilaha il Allah. La ilaha il Allah. La ila no wait, let's get, do we have to call 911? Raise your right hand. Does everyone, yeah, is it working? So right, left, okay, try again. Okay. <laughs> La ilaha il Allah. 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 Il Allah. Il Allah. Il Allah. Il Allah. And you just stand that way for about 20 more minutes. <laughs> but you can sit down.
So the key to coming back to center, I mean, you have two ways of doing this. You can do it the way the Weeble does it, just with a big, heavy butt. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've tried that one. <laughs> or you can use a mantra. So mantra is singular, mantra is plural. So if nothing else for me, you learned a little Sanskrit grammar. <laughs> mantra is singular, mantra is plural. So one of the most simple, powerful, profound ways to come back to center is to have a mantra. So the one I'm suggesting is the one we started with, I'm alive. Let me tell you how it works in my life. So, this kid that I mentioned in the beginning, who was dying, I worked with him for months practicing the I am alive. He couldn't do the movement. He was incapacitated. We're together at his deathbed in the hospital. His mom, his dad, social worker, and myself. He's been unconscious for several hours. He's not responsive. He's breathing barely but he's clearly at the end of his life. And we're just waiting. And then all of a sudden, he pops up in bed. He just comes back into the room, and his eyes are glowing, and he has this beatific smile on his face. And he looks at his mom, he looks at his dad, he looks at the social worker, he looks at me, and he says, I found it. And then he dies. His mom and dad start crying. The social worker starts crying. I jump on the kid's bed. I grab him. What? What? I'm slapping him around. Come back. What did you find? Okay, I didn't do that. I could have done that. I would have done that. But I knew what he found. He found the chiyut. He found the aliveness. And according to the Jewish tradition, everybody finds that when you die. But don't wait. Right? The Sufis have a saying, die before you die. In other words, have a practice that takes you to that place of remembering that isn't so extreme as dying. And that practice, I'm saying, suggesting to you, is mantra practice. And using the I am alive as a mantra. So, let me take, so the, you know, dying is one end of the spectrum. Let me give you another experience, much less intense. My parents used to winter in South Florida, and I would go and visit. And when we'd, I'd go to visit, every day we had to make a pilgrimage to the dollar store. <laughs> right? That's what they did. My dad golfed in the morning, they played cards at night, and in the afternoon, the dollar store. They had five or six things they needed, they bought one thing every time, so they had something to do. So I went with them to the dollar store. My mother needed a greeting card. She read all the greeting cards, found the one she wanted. She hands it to me. She says, you get in line and buy it. I'm going to go in the car with your dad and crank up the air conditioning because it's too hot. Of course it's too hot. It's Florida. But anyway, I get in line. Now, I have a problem with lines. Lines make me very nervous. I think when I'm stuck in a line, it's, I'm put there on purpose, that maybe it's anti-Semitism. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> But the whole system is designed to make me wait in a line. It makes me very, very nervous. So I'm standing in this line, but it's going okay. It's moving along. I got my card. It's moving along. Then all of a sudden, line hell. The cashier leans into the intercom, and she says, Price check. Price check. Price check? It's the dollar store. <laughs> you know what the price is. I know what the price, everybody knows what the price is. If you think, you don't remember, you go outside, you look at the top, it says the dollar store. It's not that difficult. What she needed was the SKU number, the inventory number, but either way, we're stuck now. For someone's got to go out, find the item, find the number, get back, get the system rolling again, and I am starting to get really panicking. My chest tightens, my, my breathing gets shallow and rapid, my heart's pounding. I'm just thinking, this is, this is it. I'm just lost in line hell, and I don't know what to do. And then all of a sudden, yeah, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, in my head, right? 
Because if you do it out loud, they take you away. <laughs> so I'm just going, yeah, I did it, I did it, I did it. And then as you do it, if you get into this and you practice this, your body is conditioned and it just, everything relaxes. And you become, or you remember that you always are, the aliveness. And then everything changes. Now you're standing in line with God. And then you know that the cashier is God, and the system is God, and everything is God. And God is an idiot because he doesn't know the price. It's the dollar store. <laughs> but it's still God. So by the time I get up to the cashier, I'm like all love and compassion. Right? It's just God meeting God, exchanging a dollar for a card. And I tell her that. I don't tell her that. I mean, I say, you know, don't worry, everything's fine. She was nervous, but there was no reason to be nervous. And we connected because I came back to center so I could connect with her. That's resilience. That's wobbling without falling down. And it's not just an idea, it's a practice. So the practice I'm suggesting is mantra practice. And the mantra I'm offering, though you can find there's mantra in every tradition, but the one I'm offering is this one from the Chernobyl Rebbe. So this is how we're going to bring this to a close. I was worried that I wouldn't get a standing ovation, so I'm going to ask you all to stand now. <laughs> it's all a mad plot. <laughs> Just don't sit down when I'm done, and I'll be good. You know. So we're going to do this. We're going to put a lot of energy in this, and maybe you'll remember it or some other mantra, but use this, and you will follow the way of the weeble. You will wobble, but you will not fall down. Yeah, I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. Yeah, I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive, I'm alive. And who is this aliveness I am? And who is this aliveness I am? And who is this aliveness I am? If not the holy blessed one. I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. I did it, I did I die, I am alive. I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive, I'm alive. And who is this aliveness I am? And who is this aliveness I am? And who is this aliveness I am? If not, the Holy Blessed One. Thank you.